Hello again. I'm Maurice Barrett and I've got another study in the Little Word If. It's a scary one, this one, and it's from the mouth of Jesus himself. Taken from the Sermon on the Mount, Matthew 6, verse 14 and 15. If you forgive men your tres- their trespasses, your Heavenly Father will forgive you. But if you don't forgive men their trespasses, neither will your Father Forgive your trespasses. This if is just after the Lord's Prayer. It's the only thing he picks up on. The Lord's Prayer says, Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And then Jesus concludes the prayer with this statement. You know, unforgiveness is the bane of believers, the bane of the church. How many church splits could be avoided? How fewer denominations would we have? How fewer divorces between believers would we have? If people could forgive from their hearts, not their heads. Now this is a serious if. Because Jesus said if we don't forgive our brothers, God will not forgive us. So that poses the question, what? Does that mean we'll lose our salvation? Well, I don't believe so. I believe it means we'll miss the millennial reign of Christ. Christ won't reign with unforgiving believers. Romans 14 verse 10 Why do you judge your brother? And why do you set your brother at naught? For we'll all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. This is not the great white throne. This is to account for how you lived as a believer. The great white throne's for salvation. This is to see if you qualify to reign with Jesus when he comes to set up his kingdom for a thousand years. In 2 Corinthians 5.10, Paul says, For we must all appear before the judgment seat of Christ, that everyone may receive the things done in his body whether it's good or bad, how you've lived as a believer. So how many believers are sick and problems in their life because they're all bitterness in the heart, even though they've said the correct words of forgiveness? You know, it's no point saying the right words if your heart doesn't agree. God looks at your heart, not your mouth. Israel praised God with the mouth, but the heart was far from him. Matthew 5.18 Uh, 15 verse 8 This people draw near unto me with their mouth and honour me with their lips but their heart is far from me You know if you forgive somebody with your mouth and you're still hurt you still bear resentment then you've not forgiven from your heart it's only from your mouth and God looks at the heart so this is a serious if consider it, think about it Well time to go have a blessed and fruitful day See you for the next stiff.